is this possible? How could he have died as he lived as a human? He was buried in his room. I can take you people there if you don't mind. How did he die, Mama? He died from stray bullet in Port Harcourt during an armed robbery attack. But according to what we heard, that there was um, a, a shootout between the police and some armed robbers. And all this happened the same week he went to resume work. He was employed newly in an oil company after his youth service. Hmm. This is so painful. I'm still finding it hard to believe that I'm pregnant for a ghost. Pregnant? Yes, Mama. I am three, three weeks pregnant for him. I told him and he promised to introduce me to his family this weekend so that we can continue with our, our wedding plans. Only for him to call me this morning to say that his mother was ill and that he has traveled to the village and wanted to know if, if I can join him now that I'm here. Ah. This, this, this is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm hearing. Hey, she bears them one. Mm. Mm. The heartbeat of his mother. That man. Sorry. Sorry. Ah. Oh. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. With the pictures you have showed me on your phone and all what you have said, I do not doubt you. But the reason all this is happening is what I don't know. This kind of issue we are having at time now happened 35 years ago. Then I was still very little. A woman had an only son who died mysteriously. Only for a young woman to visit the family with three kids after seven years. When the family found out that the, their son is the father of those three kids, because they were his, his glaring resemblance, his printout, then they all went back to the capital city to look for the young man, but he was nowhere to be found. And the young woman has no choice but to live with the fact that the father of her three children is lost. But one good thing is that they never lacked any good thing. They never learned. I have heard of a story like this before, but in a different yeah. way. Hi. Things are really happening. Oh my God. Why is this happening to me? It's okay. To me? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Why are all these things happening to us now? The ship carry my consignment, sir. And the shipping company couldn't even retrieve anything. And now this, just as I was thinking of how to approach the bank, this one is happening. Oh God. Someone should, should wake me up and tell me it's all a dream. serious trouble. You know, the problem is that everything seems to be happening so fast. It's just, you know, no breathing space, nothing. So what are we going to do now? 
Where are you going? Where are you going? Vivian! Vivian! Oh, Susan, please, please, please come back. Susan, come back. Is it? I am. Um, I just want to plead with you. You shouldn't discuss this incident with anybody. Because any man out there that hears she had something to do with a ghost would never ask for a hand in marriage. Please. What does she do when she finds out that Vivian is already pregnant for the ghost? Are you not saying anything? Are you going to blow the whistle on your friend? Um, no, ma. I can't do something like that. We already agreed no one will hear of this. You wouldn't wish it away Has no respect for nobody What you sow you shall reap Just in time, yeah, yeah. I remember all the promises you made To the living and the dead Said you bring the hopes alive Why you're crushing them future Is it nice, is it right To say something you don't mean to do Pretending to be someone you're not. I. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody owns tomorrow. Nobody has tomorrow in the palm of their hands. Yeah. No messages. I say no. Madam, you can run, you can run, I, but you can hide, you can hide. Let's say, my God don't travel. You can run, you can run. But is it true your guy is a dead man? My Oga? A dead man? She can't talk with that one, Kwan. Ha, Madam, no listen to anybody. My Oga no die. In fact, he get one letter. He give me, he say, make I give you anything while I see you. Can I have it? Yourself. 
I have been looking for you everywhere. Even your mom is so worried. Why are you doing this to yourself? What is this? Hi there. I know you know the truth about me now. I am sorry for this pain I have caused you. I vow on my grief. I will make I'll make it up to you. Please keep the pregnancy. It is going to be a it's going to be a boy. He will console you. He will console my mother. And he will stand in the gap with you. love. Daniel. <laughs> my God. What? <laughs> so he planned all this? <laughs> I am finished. How am I going to escape it? Where do I go from here? How do I explain that a ghost fathered my child? Is, is this not the end of the road for me? It's okay. Give gift give, give to me. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Alcohol can never solve your problem. Rather, it compounds problems. Susan, I am tired. I just want to die. I just want to die. No, I am not going to let you die. You know what? I'll come back for this car. But first, I need to take you to the house. I'll take you to my place because mother cannot see you like this. She's my friend. This development has devastated her. I know you're the only one who could advise anyone on this. In this world we are living in, too many of the people you see are not human. Some are ghosts, many are beasts in human form. That is why we always advise people to make a traditional inquiry on whom they intend to marry. Your pastors can never tell you this thing tell you who is a ghost. You know why? Because some of them go to churches. They even sing as choristers in their churches. It takes a man of Ugili to tell you that somebody is a spirit. But religion has so dealt with our people that they no longer consult Ugili anymore. And day by day, night by night, they continue digging their grave. Ichi Abunye, that is why I brought her here. I know what you stand for. And I know you're the best person who could help us solve her problem. It is not actually a problem. A benevolent spirit has chosen your friend to continue the lineage of his father. It is now left for your friend to choose and make up her mind to assist. How can I give that kind of assistance? Delivering a child of a ghost is not the kind of life I want for myself. No man will want to have anything to do with me when he gets to know that a ghost fathered my child. 
the life of that young man was cut short by your brother's bullet. What? Yes. Your brother wanted to shoot an officer and shot an innocent man instead. That son of a calf was that innocent man. He wants a representative in this world and that is why his chief granted his wish through you. You will have the baby Bring up the child. I can see you intend otherwise, but do not attempt any abortion. It will not come out well. I'm sorry, sir. I cannot give birth to a child of a ghost. If this is what your uncle has to offer, I cannot continue to sit here and listen. No, I can't. Are you serious right now? Are you... <sighs> Please do not hold this against her. She's my friend. But this is the problem she has with everyone. Don't worry, my dear. That young man has deposited in her a wand of good luck that will even revive our early family business. Ogugwezebe, the goddess of Umwezu, that ever beautiful goddess will bless her if she assists the young man regain his lineage. She will become a wreck if she dares that goddess. Longest time. Ole, that should be the one saying longest time. You know, since you sent me this phone, you have managed to call me just once. <laughs> Uncle, I'm sorry about that. I told Mommy fine that I am pregnant. But this first pregnancy is dealing with me. That is all right. That is a wonderful piece of news. Agnes did not tell me anything. And I, indeed, I am so happy that you are already expecting a child. Hey, your mother will be very, very happy in her grave. <laughs> I know. <laughs> good. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I actually called you for something very important. Eh, hey, what is it? Only though, I am thinking that uh, now you are happily married. Living happily with your husband and even expecting a child, I am thinking that it is time for us to marry a woman for your late father. You know, somebody who can live in your father's compound and um, reproduce children for your father. You know, somebody who can live there as the woman in the house and then ensure that the lineage of your father did not end. How possible is that? Who will be responsible for her upkeep? Who is going to be impregnating her? Well, regarding her upkeep, you may not bother yourself about that. There will always be a way for us to, for us to keep the woman going. Now, concerning the person who will um, do the other one, she can always uh, make a choice from all the men in our family. You know, she must find somebody who can put her in the family way. The important thing is that she is going to be presented as your father's wife. So all the children she is going to be are your father's children. Don't be so surprised, but what I'm telling you is the tradition of our land as it concerns a man who died without a son. Your father, my brother, was a good man and his lineage 
She will not end just like that. Okay? All right, Uncle. I've heard what you said. I'll think about it and get back to you. Yes, you seriously need to think about it because it is something that we must do. Not just for your father, but for the family. Okay? Waiting for your call. <laughs> Is he indirectly telling me to get a wife for him? Why are you so stubborn? That man you walked out on knows this topic more than anyone else. He doesn't know anything. Now I'm feeling so bad for even telling him. Now he's going to be amongst the people that will use this against me. Ichi Abunye is a man with strong character. He said something after you left and I feel you should reconsider this decision. If whatever he said is aimed at making me keep this pregnancy, then I am not interested. Can you please take me out of this place? You told me your family business is going down. And what has that got to do with this? It has everything to do with it. Let me repeat his exact words, and I quote, That young man has deposited in her the wand of good luck that will help revive the hailing family business. Ogugu Eziebe, the goddess of Umuezu. That ever beautiful goddess, you bless her if she help assist the young man keep his lineage. She will become a wreck if she dares the goddess. End of quote. Go back there and tell him he is talking nonsense. I will not deliver a child from a ghost. Never. Take me out of this place now, or else I will call a cop. And I'm serious. Wait a second. Where are you going to? What is wrong with this girl? I tried talking to her, but it is obvious she doesn't want to listen. Susa, the beautiful daughter of my brother, you have done your part as a good friend to that pompous lady. Allow her to face the forces she invited. That is what I want to avoid. She's my only friend. Yes, I will agree with you that she's pompous, but she's a good person. I don't want her to face those forces. They may kill her, and I don't want my friend to die. I also do not want anybody to die. But if the person you want to help refuses to help herself, do not make yourself available for her bullet. They will hit her, and they will hit her hard. Yes. Where the hell is this girl? Eh? She can't even wait for me. You wouldn't wish it away Has no respect for nobody What you sow you shall reap Just in time, yeah Yeah. I remember all the promises you made To the living and the dead Said you bring the hopes alive While you're crushing them future Is it nice, is it right To say something you don't mean to do Pretending to be someone you're not. I. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody owns tomorrow. Nobody has tomorrow in the palm of their hands. Yeah. No messages. I say no messages. No messages. Knocking around. We are here, right outside your door. You can run, you can run, but you can hide, you can hide now. You can run, you can run, but you can hide, you can hide now. It's coming for you. Yes. 
We are from the regional headquarters of the investment bank. After your bank turned down our loan application, you still have the guts to show your faces here? Shut up, Vivian. This is not how to handle this matter. We were unable to process your last application because you defaulted on your existing loan. And from this notice that you've just been served, you have just one month to pay up all your accumulated interest on your loan. Please let it be on record that after the expiration of one month, if you fail to pay the accumulated interest, our legal team will take over this property. Oh, please have a wonderful day. Give it up, I oh, we get away. Give it up, give it up now, now, now. To let the tongue back time, to shun to walk away. Give it up now, now, now. It's yeah. I should know your shit. I should love the sheep Looking around her I should love the sheep Is this a joke or something? Didn't the insurance company compensate us or what? They did. The compensation was used to settle all the pressing matters. I was just hoping that something else will come up before the expiration of the moon, but obviously it did not. What am I going to do? Could he be right or what? Who? What? Can you please repeat yourself? Wait, 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 wait. Did you say you got pregnant for a ghost? I'm sorry, Mom. I decided not to tell you because I know how embarrassing it will look. Oh, my God. Susan is the one that took me to the man. So he decided to abort the child, knowing that it has a link with our business. What, 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 are you for me or are you against me? Which one is it? It's now that everything is connecting in my head. <gasps> Please. It made no sense when he spoke. I cannot understand the connection between our business and the ghost. So where's this man? Is he in this town? No, he's not. Suzanne is the one that knows the place. Oh, God. How come I haven't realized that you, Vivian, you're senseless? So you knew the relationship this baby had with reviving my business. You went ahead to terminate it without reference to me. How stupid can you be? Mom, am I actually missing something? We are Read that we are not going to discuss this union with a ghost in our family. I'm aware you ordered Susan not to discuss it. Now, what, what are you doing? I never knew there was a pregnancy. Because if I'd known, we would not be here discussing this. I wouldn't have let you abort it. I wouldn't! Oh. If you want to see the man, you have to call Susan. She will take you there. Susan, please, I'd like you to take me to your uncle. 
Ichi Ebunye tomorrow. Why, Ma? How, how did you get to find out about my uncle? Well, Vivian has told me everything. How come you knew about this and you didn't even bother to tell me? Vivian has refused to do what the man asked her to do. She actually walked out on the man and I have decided to mind my business. Please, you need to take me the first thing tomorrow morning. I'll come over and pick you so we can head out. It's okay, mother. I'll meet you up early in the morning. Then we can leave from your place. Okay, thank you very much. Please do not fail me, okay? We are sinking. You wouldn't wish it away. Has no respect for nobody. What you saw, you shall reap. Just in time, yeah. So Vivian decided to tell her about the pregnancy. What should I tell my uncle to make him listen to them again? Why you're crushing them future? Is it nice? Is it right? Uh, to say something? The interest payable alone is 26 million naira. Where can we get that kind of money from? Before the end of one month? Nobody owns tomorrow. Nobody has tomorrow. In the palm of their hands. Yeah. No. It is clear we're going to lose this house. Where do we go from here? No knocking around. Please, please don't kill me. Please, I beg you, don't kill me, please. Please, please have mercy, don't kill me. Please. Bet you killed that innocent child. I begged you to kill. A son that would have consoled all of us. That son would have solved the problems in your family right now. What did you do? You killed him. And you have killed the happiness I promised. Please. Please. Is there any way I can solve this problem? My family is sinking. And I know we need help. Please, for all time's sake, help us. Please, please don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Don't go, please, please. Mom. Mom. Yes? Did you see him? He just walked through this, this place. Who? Oh? Daniel! What did he say? What, 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 what did he want? He's blaming me for killing the child. He said I killed the happiness he promised me the moment I killed the child. Why didn't you tell me you were pregnant? Eh? Now what do you expect me to do? Ask Suzanne to take me to her uncle. I will beg him for forgiveness. I will even offer him money to appease him. He is the only one that can solve this problem for us. I've um, already asked uh, Susan to take me to her uncle tomorrow. I guess we can all go together. Mom, I'm sorry about how everything is turning out. But I believe there will be light at the end of the tunnel. I hope so. Well, only that I am actually on my way out. Yes, I'm, I'm attending. But I got the money you wired into my account. What is the money for? I hope it will be enough to take care of what he said. I have also discussed with my husband, who has discussed with his father. And uh, they've concluded to get a small business for the woman when you finally marry her. That is great news. <laughs> Wonderful piece of news indeed. 
the, the money you sent is even more than enough to take care of the marriage. I will start the process immediately and I will keep you posted. That would be awesome. My regards to Auntie Agnes. Of course, I will. I will tell her that you called. And how about the twins? How are they doing? They are fine. They are presently sleeping. Good. Uh, please extend my warm regards to your husband. Okay? He's uh, indeed a worthy in-law to this family and I'm very proud of him. I will. One more thing, Uncle. I'm thinking I'm going to see Auntie Beatrice. Go and see her for what? Why will you think a thing like that? Listen to me, you have already moved on with your life. Forget that woman completely. She doesn't deserve someone like you. I know, but I had a dream. In the dream, my mother told me to forgive her if she comes to apologize. That settles it. If she comes to apologize, I think I like that. So you have to wait for her to come and apologize. As long as she has not apologized for the lies she told and the wickedness she unleashed on you, she's never going to get any forgiveness. Just that settles it. I'm, 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 I'm on my way. We go. It's okay, Uncle. Take care of yourself. Bye. You want to bite the fingers that are feeding you. Oh my. You know what? Please. That your witchcraft will not work. Yes. You want to use witchcraft and turn Kingsley away from marrying my daughter. Oh, goodness. Now you have to leave. What's mm -hmm. possible? Leave my house. Here's hmm. your transport. And have a safe trip. One minute, please. Auntie Beatrice, you really touched me where it mattered most. But I forgive you. I still see you as my family. That chapter involving the man of Enugu has closed. It is closed and there is nothing anyone can do about it. Another woman has given him the son he was looking for and his spirit has finally gone to rest. You need to help us. You need to help me. My family is already wounded. We are going down. You, you, you must find another way to help us out. And that is to tell you the truth. Humble yourself and apologize to the one you killed. She's the only one who can turn things around in the spirit. I've never killed anyone in my life. You killed Hazir. You killed her dream. You killed her ambition. You sent her into the world empty-handed and told deadly lies against her. What you did is one and same as mother and your destiny is caged around her forgiveness. Apologize to her and you may find the second chance you seek. From what you have said, you are talking about Oledo. Yes. Is she still alive? She is alive. The mother of twins. Married to a man who loves her for who she is. Unconditionally. Get her pronounced forgiveness on you. And you would have solved your problem. You wouldn't wish it away Has no respect for nobody What you sow you shall reap Just in time, yeah Yeah. I remember all the promises you made To the living and the dead Said you bring the hopes alive While you're crushing them future Is it nice, is it right To say something you don't mean to do Pretending to be someone you're not uh. Nobody knows tomorrow, nobody owns tomorrow Nobody has tomorrow in the palm of their hands Yeah. 
the one that has risen against me. I also know you're the one that crippled my business. But please, please forgive me. I know and, and, and nothing, and nothing. You liar that had the guts to tell lies to a man like me. Gather yourself and leave this place now before I assemble the use of Omodem Kwa to beat you up. Please. What are you doing? I, I need to apologize to my sister, please. And I am telling you that there is no forgiveness in the grave. If you want to apologize, if you are seeking for forgiveness, that is, if you have genuinely repented, you have to apologize to people who are alive, not people who are dead. Please, I, I, I know that if I apologize to I know, I know she would do something. She's my sister. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you like, you can beg me with your... Your kidneys on a platter. I am not going to listen to you. There is nothing in this world that will ever make me to allow you to continue to desecrate the grave of this woman that my brother married. And my poala. If you fail to leave this place this minute, this you, this woman, you will see the other side of me. See, Bapo. See, Bapo. I already traced all you do. She's not just a mother of twins like my uncle said. She's equally a vibrant lawyer who is yet to lose any case. Are you serious? Who is the husband? The same Kingsley, of course. Yes. Your mother sent her packing and they were able to locate themselves. They are happily married. She's not doing badly at all. Hmm. Do you know where they live? Still at the family house down Madabuchi Crescent. How can you ask that? A man like Kingsley can't be living with his wife in a family house. Um, he got the house in a uh, husband estate. Yes, husband estate. That's where they live now. I never saw this coming. I know Abunia of Okozu, a strong one of the gods. But I don't believe you that he was the one who asked you to come here. He asked me to come and apologize to my sister, and that is why I'm here. Well, it is possible Abunia told you that. But I'm in a position to confirm to you that he didn't see this one clearly. Oledo was the person you offended. And if you must apologize to anybody, you should be apologizing to her, not to the mother. I, I am not a man of Ugili, understand that. But I know what can possibly come from Ugili. This one is not from Ugili. I don't know where to find her. Well, I am certain you can still find the one you vowed never to allow her marry. He was the one that married her finally. And if you can find him, then you have found her. You mean that stupid boy? Bereft of manners, ended up marrying Oledo. Bereft of manners? Well, I don't know what that means. But I'm in the position to tell you again 
that they have a set of twins as we speak. What? My niece got married and you didn't bother to tell me. Why would you do that? I tell you because you are who? Because you are Listen to me, Beatrice. Your welcome has actually expired. Now, when you are done ranting, you hit the gate. And let me warn you, in your overall interest, do not ever in your life come back to my brother's compound to practice that witchcraft again. Because if I should catch you in that compound again, even your sheep will be so shocked you are going to handle you. See my position? serious right now or you're just pulling my legs I'm dead serious <laughs> why should I do that I'm telling you the truth listen my dad is back for a mom I want you and I to get this marriage planning thing done once and for all in his presence <laughs> wow. this is like the happiest day of my life you know I already said I wasn't going to get married this year why would you tell yourself that Susan remember I proposed to you and I did that from the core part of my heart <laughs> yes, I know you meant it, but you knew your dad's condition that he must not be absent when it happens. Come on. So that scared me. You don't have to be scared. Dad is here and is here all for you. How do you mean? Okay, let me get it straight up with you. He saw your picture and he was very excited about it. I sent them to you. I sent your picture to him. <laughs> Guess what? Daddy said you are an angel. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm not doing it. <laughs> and, uh, okay. <clears throat> he wants you and I to get married immediately to mm -hmm. avoid some other family from coming from nowhere to take you away from us. <laughs> oh my goodness. She just make me feel so special. You're so special, girl. Oh, uh, Susan, can I ask you a favor? Sure. Can we go see Dad today? Are you kidding me? Is that a question? Of course! Who am I to say no? Wow. <laughs> wow! You know what? Let's just go already. Wow. I can't wait to see the Niger ambassador. Oh, like My real. father in law. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you, baby. She is alive. Mother of twins. Married to a man who loves her for who she is. Unconditionally. Get her pronounced forgiveness on you. What are we going to do? to move into a flat and um, <sighs> give up the space. What are you saying? What are we going to be doing in a flat? That's what we can afford. Or do you want to stay back and get through it? Is that a better option? I have traced where Olido lives. Your pardon. No, no. What did you just say? We need to meet her, like the man said. Maybe she will be the solution to our problem. Are you crazy? Oh, okay. Maybe. Because I ignored all the reports made by almost all the managers in the company that you were the one that ran the company down. Yes, I ignored it. And that is what has given you the guts to talk to me anyhow. Mom, what are you talking about? What? What did I do? When did I insult you? You dare raise your voice. You crippled this company. Yes! With your extravagant way of life. And your mundane, stupid, crazy way of running the company. What is wrong with you? You ensured that all those big 
clients that used to bring millions to us transferred their money to other companies. Are you happy about that now? Please! Oh, please! I will not allow anyone put blames on me. No, I will not. You dare raise your voice at me. Vivian, you dare raise your voice at me. Are you mad? First thing tomorrow morning, I am leaving this useless house of wickedness. If you cannot solve your problem alone, then deal with it, whichever way you see. Vivian. Vivian? Vivian! Somebody had already given you a solution to this problem. Why didn't you do what the, this person said? Well, the said person is, is a heathen, an unbeliever. And uh, we're not supposed to mix with ungodly people. Look, you're my pastor. You're the one I should be listening to. You are right. I agree with you. Do not be equally yoked with an unbeliever. The only thing we need to do right now is to pray. Prayer is the key. And we have no other weapon apart from prayer. We just have to pray. There is nothing prayer cannot do. Let us pray. Unbeatable God, we call upon you. We beseech you to exactly. Can we stop this madness and face reality? What reality are you talking about? Pastor Henry, you are not guiding my mother right. I have traced where all the leaves. Can't we simply go and apologize to her and end this nonsense? What can prayer do in a situation like this? What? Must I fall out with you before you begin to redefine yourself and stop talking a a any kind of rubbish? Are you crazy or something? Sister Beatrice, please, you have to calm down. No, 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 Pastor. Let me talk to this senseless, useless daughter of mine who liquidated my company and yet has the guts to talk to me anyhow. I did not liquidate the company. You are the one who did. And it's still you that can revive it. Now you get out of this living room. And never you get involved in any of my business. You can as well disown me, but I have made my point. why she does this thing, time without number. I don't know who has bewitched her. Now she has the guts to talk to me without an iota of respect. Sister Beatrice, we still need to pray. Let us pray and lift this body. Oh God, our Father, we call upon you in times like this. Yes, come in, please. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Sandra. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How can I help you? In the absence of any patient, will you be obliged to see a visitor on a private visit? Sure, why not? Um, sir, this visitor is someone you would like to see in your MD's office. No. Should I bring? Yes, whoever, just bring the person here. Okay. What are you doing? Very 
very sorry, sir. Please. Please. I'm not going to blame my mother. For I know I have other options that I fail to take. I take responsibility for my actions. And I have realized that no matter how we try, we can never undo what God has ordained. Please. I need you to forgive me before I go to your wife. Please, forgive me. Fine, can you just stand? You're embarrassing me, all right? Can you just stand up? Please, stand up. I have forgive you. I have, I have. Stand up. It's an office. Thank you. Thank you. Please sit. I must admit I have heard of your challenges in business. And the regional manager of Development Bank called to tell me that your house was mapped for sale. I discussed with my wife and she cried relentlessly. She said her mother visited her in her dream and asked her to forgive your mother if she comes to apologize. My mother will not apologize. That is the problem between us. We sinned against Olido. We owe her an apology. Olido will receive you if you come. She was part of the Nigerian Bar Association delegation that just returned from Canada. As we speak, she's at home, and I'm sure if you come, she would receive you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You just made my day. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. It's all right. Listen to me. You can ask anyone that knows me very well. I am not a troublemaker. I am a landlady. I own the mall. No doubt about that. But I will not let that get into my head. That mall was a gift from my father-in-law. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. I want all businesses there to be doing well. That's my prayer. That's what I want. Listen, if there's any problem, report to the manager. Yes, I trust his judgment and I, I know that he can solve any problem. Please. I'll call you back for this discussion, please. Yes, who's there? You have to forgive me. You know, you're the only sister I have. I, I have no other sister but you. Please, please have mercy. Please. It's me, oh, it's me, Vivian. Please. Vivian, you don't have to do this. Come in. I should stand up. The regional manager mentioned it to my husband and he already assured me that he will not allow Auntie Beatrice to be thrown out. He has decided to pay what she owes the bank. Are you serious? Huh. Now I understand what he was saying. But your mother will have to do what my mother said so that the family will heal. 
That will not be a problem at all. She will be here right away if I let her know what your husband has done. Kinsley will not only repay the loan. He will get her reestablished. Thank God. According to him, your mother contributed in his upbringing. So he wants to do something good for her. Let me, let me just call her right away. Thank you. Let me call her. She's not picking. She's still not picking. Um, I will just go and inform her. But trust me, she will be here with me today. It's okay. I'll be waiting. I am not desperate about the apology. I'm just trying to obey what my mother told me in the dream. I understand. And I respect you more for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank your husband for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My sister that I never enjoyed. I'm glad I had enough. I'm glad to. <laughs> Mom, there's a positive development. Mom! <laughs> She died the way she did, but I pray that the good Lord will give you the fortitude to bear this painful loss. Thank you, Olido. Thank you for financing the funeral. You have showed me the beauty of a good heart. Please. You are indeed an angel. May God Almighty reward you. Thank you. Vivian, please don't make me cry. It was nothing. It breaks my heart that I didn't do more for Auntie Beatrice. Though she was harsh to me, but she brought me to my destiny. And um, I want you to know that I have refunded every money you owe in the bank. Yes. And this house. This house is yours. Oh, I am sure gradually you will pick up your business again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. This child will never amount to anything. Oh yeah, magic. Oh yeah, magic. Oh yeah, magic. You said this child will never become anything. I will give what you go. I will give what you go. I will give what you go. I 
Yeah. Each and every.